what is up my friends good morning it is an absolutely beautiful thursday morning here in arkansas i just wanted to log in and let you know that i love you and i care about you and i'm thinking about you and that you are important to somebody it doesn't matter if you know it or not it helps just understand that as long as you are walking this earth and you are doing things like opening a door for somebody, buy them their coffee in the morning, tell somebody who usually is doing a thankless job that they're doing a good job. Help people when you see they need it. And then you see you are important to somebody. In fact, in that sense, you're important to everybody. Just think positive and be positive. No matter what's going on in your life right now, just know that tomorrow will seem like a small thing. You will get through this. We will get through this. My buddy Kendall's sister most likely passed last night. Everybody send a collective prayer, positive vibes, whatever you want to call it. Just think of my friend. The universe will know who he is when you talk about it. I want to tell my daughters, Madison and Keely, and my son, Layton, that I love you very much. I'll see you soon when you come down. I want to thank uh, one of our newest viewers in the family, Adam. Adam notices when uh, Little Doggy doesn't post a video, so <laughs> here you go, Adam. Oh, feel free to discuss. Everybody talk down in that comment section. I read them all. What happened yesterday? Republicans stormed into a committee a meeting, a deposition that Adam Schiff was having down in the secure part of the basement of the Capitol. They did this because it's political theater. Just like when Democrats do almost everything they do. See, that's the difference. There's a big difference between Republicans and Democrats. Democrats are great at putting on a show. Democrats are great at twisting information and disseminating it. That's why your media is liberal anywhere you go because they're part of the machine. An ideology that most of the people in the country subscribe to is most likely from the dissemination, the ideology that comes with it. Everything down to our school system, which is why it's so dangerous to have government run schools. Pull your kids out of school. Here in Arkansas, we've got a uh, online course that kids can take. Oh, there's Jeff. That is the baddest motherfucker. Except for with his driving. He's not very good at driving. Yes. Government-run schools, not a good idea. Because what they'll teach is exactly what, well, the government wants you to know. <laughs> Nothing else. Why well, take away math, by the way? Math is not racist. It's stupid. The Republicans stormed that uh, thing and they want more transparency. But the truth is that uh, John Boehner set those laws. That's a Republican, by the way, are those rules, those House rules. And they're just using them. Now, in the past, it was, they, 
they did their depositions with witnesses and they didn't subpoena the shit out of these people. They, the, the ones who wanted to come, they came. Now they're subpoenaing these people. So they make it one look like it's, it's an important thing and they'll put them under oath rather than them just coming in and volunteering information. They can say whatever the hell they want. Uh, and two, uh, they put them under subpoena so that it, I didn't unlock the door for him. They put them under subpoena. Just, I mean, it's, it's mostly appearances. This is what I'm saying is the Democrats make a big show of things and make them look nefarious and make everything look fucked up. And we're Republicans. They just do their business. So, uh, and it's politics. Uh, they look at, they put, they take acting classes. I mean, my goodness. Right now! <laughs> Idiot! Right now! What happened? What happened? Yeah, now that's going to get a Bryant cop on me. <laughs> anyway, these rules were set up by Republicans. And, uh, in like, say, 2015, I think. And uh, whether we like it or not, they're they're using them differently. They're they're using them differently. So, uh, but they're they're the rules. So Republicans knew this, and that's why they weren't putting on a big show and doing all this stupid shit. So they had they knew they had to. And a lot of people called them out. And as far as perception goes, most people don't even want. To they don't want to pay attention to politics. They don't want to know anything. So they'll hear what their friends think and then they'll go do whatever. This is why when you see any of these uh, conservative people, not Caitlin Bennett, she's just a joke, but she could have been something, but no, she's a joke. That's the point. This That guy, that's the point. Go check out that channel. He, uh, he walks around just the same thing like, Jesse Waters used to do and ask questions, but he talks and he has other people talk, but, uh, they don't set out the good ones. Don't set out to make people look stupid like Steven Crowder. These people come, they sit down, they want to argue. They want to yell this and that, what they think and what they want to believe. And, uh, and then facts shoot it down. And when that happens, it devolves. This is what happens when you have, uh, you'll see these people standing by that are doing these events when these conservatives are interviewing people. And the uh, as soon as it starts to fall apart for the liberal point of view, they'll step in, oh, you shouldn't be talking to these people. Don't be talking to these people. They'll make you look like a fool, blah, 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 blah. And then they'll shut, the, shut it down. <laughs> There's Kenny. Good morning, Kenny. There's also a difference in Democrats between the liberals and the left. And there are conservative Democrats. So love everybody. Don't hate somebody because of their ideology. That's just stupid. We're all people. We're all human beings. That's all that matters. And don't be afraid to speak up. If someone tells you that you're being an asshole and dismissive because you disagree with somebody, that's not actually true. If you're being respectful to them and you're stating your point of view and then you're discussing each other's points of view, that's conversation. That's how people learn. Not by listening to the media or the government, in fact. So Republicans knew they shouldn't have done this because the rules are the rules. They respect the rules. So it gave a perception to the public that Republicans weren't behind the president. So they wanted to make a show. At which they're not good at. <laughs> but eventually all of this information will come out. Eventually what's supposed to happen will happen. President will get representation. Republicans will be able to call witnesses to the contrary. You know, 
this and that. It just, they're gonna stretch it out and make it an election issue. Because Democrats get their sound bites. Isn't that ridiculous? These Democrats who are running for election, they're timing this so that it happens at the beginning of the election cycle so that they can defend Joe Biden, who has no hope of beating Trump. I mean, that's, this is a joke. The only person who had a chance at beating Trump was Tulsi Gabbard, and they're trying to fuck her over. Thank God. They're just not as intelligent as you think they are. They're being shifty and stupid and secretive and they're losing their narrative. So they're fixing to start doing something, but they keep pushing this other information back, these other reports. Barr went over and found some stuff, I think he said in, in Italy. So they're pushing this big report back because they found something big and this is fixing to be I keep saying that, but yeah, it's going to be bad. All right, there's the last one. I got to go. I love you. Think positive. Be positive. Act proactively. Be strong. You got this. If you see somebody who's hungry, feed them. Take that blanket or jacket out from behind the seat of your truck. Give it to them if they're cold. Old shoes, don't throw them away. Put a pair of socks in there. Put in each shoe so they have two pairs of socks. And just give them away. Be strong. You are a mountain climber. And today is El Capitan. Are you going to take three days to do it? Or are you going to fucking sprint to the top? I love you. Have a good one. Little doggy.